Sometimes when you set up backups, you want to have certain default sets. So in Backup Exec 20, they do give us the ability to set what's called job defaults. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, and I'll discuss what I mean by that. So we're going to click in the circle in the upper left-hand corner, and we'll click on Configuration and Settings, and then we'll click on Job Defaults. So there's lots of different job defaults, and the one that's going to be the most popular is going to be the Backup to Disk. So we're going to get a list of a lot of different job defaults. So what this means is when you go to create a new job, it will use these as defaults. Now you can certainly customize and make changes to the job, but you don't want to have to keep making the same changes over and over every time you have a, you create a new job. So let's take a look at this particular job it, itself. We've got uh, backup job defaults for storage. And by default, it's going to choose any disk storage. If you want, you say, I don't want to just choose any disk. I want to choose a specific disk storage for my job defaults when I create them. So let's go ahead and choose disk storage 001. And we'll do the same thing with the incremental. Let's go ahead and choose verify. Let's say, you know what, we don't want to verify the jobs because it makes them take twice as long and it cuts into the workday. So we'll just go ahead and say, don't verify. And there's lots of other different types of job defaults we can do. For instance, we've got Active Directory. We could say, oh, you know what? We don't need a granular, uh, you know, these GRT types of recoveries. I suggest that you leave that there. But in case you decide you don't want to, just go ahead and uncheck it, and then it won't do a granular recovery. What a granular recovery does is it allows you to restore specific files rather than the entire Active Directory. So I definitely recommend you keep that going. Microsoft Exchange, uh, you can, if you have multiple copies, you can choose the uh, default, which is backup from the passive copy. You could change that to the active copy if you want. Uh, you also have some virtual machine defaults, lots of different virtual machine defaults that you can set. So let's, let's go ahead and create a new job just to see if the uh, job defaults actually work for us in the area of storage. That's probably the easiest thing to check. So if we go to create a new job, and we'll go ahead and choose backup and backup to disk. And then we'll go to where it says edit and storage. And we can see instead of choosing any storage, it chose our disk storage 001. So that's exactly how job defaults work. When you go and select them in the default area, then when you go to create a new job, then you're going to see those defaults set up here. Now, like As I mentioned earlier, you can make changes that you can say, you know what, for this particular job, I want to choose any disk storage. But uh, for the defaults, we'll just go ahead and keep it as just this one. So that's how you set up job defaults and why you would want to set them up in Backup Exec 20.